So then color flow from one space to another, which is a lot of what many of us want to talk about. Uh, and it's the idea of introducing it. And these two obviously flow really well because they're exactly the same color palette. Uh, but then we know, because I'm telling you so, that from this space, you transition to this space. So this room is not all chartreuse and blue. We just pulled out the blue from this entry and transitioned it. We decided, okay, which one of these colors would we like to bring into the next space to make it more interesting? Uh, and so I selected uh, the blue. And then from this space, we flow in the next direction to that room that has the painted floors. Uh, and in the other direction, we go to this bedroom. Um, so this one is all very subtle, very subtle nuances of color in this space, where in some, they're a lot stronger. I thought about, oh, sorry. I thought about this one a lot last night, and I could not remember for the life of me what it was that you framed in a plexiglass box on the wall. A, a Dale Chihuly painting. That was his painting. Um, and so we put it, it's on paper, and so to make it more fresh and really speak to even, say, this room that has the Lucite hardware, that's an, another idea. It doesn't have to be a color that transitions from space to space. It might be a material. So in the way that I had circles upstairs in a nursery and then brought them down to the master, I have Lucite in this space and I introduce it also into this room and even onto the table with their Chihuly sculpture that's in a plexiglass box. So everything becomes a material, not just the fabrics. Uh, and everything has some color to it, even something clear like Lucite. It becomes almost like a prism uh, that has every color in it. Um, but this room transitions. Um, and even the, floor, the, the carpet on the floor has a gold pattern on it that speaks back to this in the entry. Um, and then if you've noticed, and none of you have, had really mentioned it, we can't see it in this picture, we could see it in the last, in, when we saw this earlier, but the, the side tables are wrapped in raffia. So it's, a, it's like a texture, but you, they, it still looks like the whole room is blue. Um, it's just, let me see, we'll, I'll go back to it in a little bit if I can. Um, but it's interesting because it's another texture, but the whole room still looks like a color wrap. Uh, and Oh, and so then we get to see, this is fun, I love this, it's like a home tour. So this is off the, um, from this room you go one direction to the master, and you go the other direction into this space which then the kitchen is part of it. I don't think you've gotten to see this room yet um, this week while we've been studying, but look how from that, from that living room, I transitioned into here and we brought in like the cool tones of blue, but then we started introducing lime and we started introducing cinnamon. So you see how I'm transitioning to another color and it's not that you can't introduce this warm cinnamon red into this house that is all these blues, you just take different little elements from room to room that allow you then to, to morph into another color being added. Um, does that, and then you'll see that again upstairs in a space you've already seen where it's all cinnamon. And even how you bring the stripes in from the one room. I'm looking at the bottom of those chairs and just seeing those little blue yeah. stripes. So I added a little banding. So it's again that subtle idea. Y'all are start, see y'all pick up on all of my tricks. You're you're giving away all my secrets. Um, but you know, just like we reintroduced the circle in a and with no color on the front of that little dresser, um, here we've brought a stripe in and we've added it to the bottom of the chair as a little detail or banding. And on the, on the top, top and around the drapery, do you see that? Mm -hmm. So subtle though. Toby, I'm wondering what's in the fireplace that looks like a circle. Is it like a clay ball? They're or? ball. They're like concrete um, balls. It's a real. It's it's a really cool product. So they wanted something different. Uh, in the other room, we have crystals in the fireplace. They're the blue glass mm -hmm. crystals that are really modern. Uh, and so in this room, we didn't want to go to plain gas logs because this this house is too contemporary and unique. So we were looking for something fun and we found these pieces. Plus I also love that whole collection. Those are just like plastic resin vases and all um, sitting on the, uh, over the mantle. But there, it was, because this window treatment is so challenging, there's no way to cover all of those, but I wanted it to not be completely open because we lost some warmth and coziness. Another thing for you to note is I didn't contrast the drapery to the wall because it would have really brought a lot of attention. I could have just decided, okay, let's bring 
the, the cinnamon color to the wall, but think of what that would have done for the mood and the atmosphere of the space. So I really just made the drape, and I do this a lot, just an exact match to the paint color. So it's more about dimension and movement and warmth and not about a statement with the pattern. And you know, we talked about that yesterday when we're introducing and transitioning pattern. You can either decide maybe to put it on the drapes and a sofa pillow, or you could put the whole sofa in the pattern, but you're not probably gonna do both. And in this room over here, I really wanted that cut velvet on the ottoman to be the shining star in that space. So everything else sort of just goes away. It really is, Toby, all coming together. I love it. Continue to see things the that kitchen I didn't see is before. This, this is the kitchen that's connected to that hearth room that we were just looking at. And then it transitions into the sunroom. And look where we introduce that pop of, um, of chartreuse again into that space. And there's actually some orange in that space, too, in the pillow. It's a little hard to see. And then you go upstairs, and these are what the bedrooms look like. So all cinnamon because it, we've had a point of reference downstairs. So that as you walk into this space, you don't go, oh, holy cow, now it's purple. Your eye goes, oh, I'm familiar with that color. I, like you may not even notice it, but it makes sense. So it's a, it's a way to subtly transition into the next room. And then uh, the other bedroom, I really kept in shades and layers of the aqua and green in that space.